This video, we're going to talk about how to build a tripod the Boy Scout way. My name is Brian, and you're watching Survival on Purpose. Okay, welcome back, Survival on Purpose. Thanks for joining me. Like I said, this video is going to be about uh, building a tripod. We're going to do it like it shows in the Boy Scout manual, but I've got a couple little wrinkles that I like to do, so maybe you'll find those interesting. If you happen to be in the Boy Scouts and you're watching this, hopefully this will help you with your advancements. If you're not in the Boy Scouts, tripods are really cool things to use, so this is, maybe this will show you a different way of doing it that you're not used to. So let me readjust things. I'm going to go ahead and get started because it is getting dark real soon here, and I want to try to beat the sun down. Okay, I'm way back here. Hopefully you can see me just to show you. These poles are about, one of them is eight or nine feet long, a lot taller than me. Got three of them. They've got some stuff hanging off the end of them that uh, we're going to show you why I do that. You see they got some all you know, kinds of wires and crotches and stuff. So, okay, so let me get down here on the ground with you and we'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, the first thing I like to do, get these down here where you can see them, I'm going to put the ends all where they're about the same length together because you kind of want your legs to be the same length. It really helps. And then somewhere couple feet from the top. I'm going to try to find a spot where I can kind of get all of them close together and that's, that's going to be a good spot right there because you know, you're know not going to get it perfect but we kind of get them close together as we can because they're all kind of got different bends in them and stuff and it really, you know, it's not going to be perfect again but I think I'm going to try to bring it up here a little more maybe. Maybe if I move these around, there we go. That'll give us a little, little better, a little, little taller one. Okay, so we found a spot where the our posts are, can be pretty close together. We're going to start with a clove hitch and we want the long, the running end of the rope to be going this direction towards our lashing. So we're going to, we're going to come in under this way. We're going to tie a clove hitch. We're just going to make an X here. We're going to come across. We're going to go back underneath the top one again and we're going to snug that up and pull it tight and then we have a clove hitch. Okay, so we're coming from the top here. So we're going to go under. Well, you're going to basically weave this rope back and forth under under these and I'm, I'm just going to kind of roll this up so it's a little easier to work with because it's longer rope and we'll see how well that works for me because it usually doesn't work worth a flip but we're going to try it so we're going to go under here and over here and the, and then we're next then we're going to come back under here like so and back up through here like this back under here like this so we're essentially just like you're weaving it's almost like a loom you see we got a we got a zigzag alternating effect we're going to do this three times we're going to wrap it thrice and frap it twice that's the boy scout way and about to have a about to have a mouse nest here bird's nest so to keep it as tight as possible i'm gonna go ahead and lose my little bundle here and we'll pull it that way so we've got two now we need three three wraps so we'll put one more time around pull it through and go back around one more time here Got all these pine straw in the way. Hopefully you can still see that. Okay. And now we got three there, three here, and we'll have three here after we come back over because the first one is just the, the clove hitch. So we're gonna pull that back through, come over. And now if I can find the end. So we've got three, and we're gonna try to tighten them up a little bit, just kind of wiggle them around, pull on it, let it slide through, and then Tighten up the clove hitch, snug it up. Okay, so now we've got three. We've wrapped it thrice. We're going to come back around, come under here. We want to frap it twice. Frapping is between, you go between the poles. So we're going to whew, pull it down here. We're going to wrap it just like this, between the knots. So you see we're coming up between here, between the poles. We're going to do that twice for each, each gap, each opening. Come around. Come back up through here like so, twice. And you can see we started our clove hitch on this end, so we want to wind up on the other end. So we're going to wrap this down one more time through here, and that'll be twice. And then we'll come across to the next one. And we'll go through around and we'll wrap it twice. And now uh, this is a little loose. You could actually make this tighter if you want to take the time and and poke the strings between there a little a little more. Poke your, your cordage between there a little more. But honestly, 
like I said, I'm in a hurry. It's about to get dark on me, and this is this will work just fine. So, got it looped around there. I'm going to bring it back around and tie the clove hitch on the opposite side here, right here. So, I'm going to finish this as we started with a clove hitch, and we're going to finish right here. We're going to bring it around. We're going to get our, if I can get my finger through there, pull it out here. Make the X, like we talked about, come back around. And then come back up underneath. And tighten that up. Snug it up, pull it tight. Now, now we've got this, so this will be our tripod. We got all this extra cordage here, which really, I usually do that for a reason, and you can drop this down when you set the tripod up and hang whatever you want to on it. So let me back the camera up, and we'll stand this thing up and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna back up here. I've got all these doodads hanging on the end of it. We've got a lot of extra cordage left. We're going to uh, basically just kind of spread this thing apart, and you want to, you want to uh, and I'll bring you over here and let you see it, but you want to kind of catch it where that, it kind of binds itself up here, so, but got pretty solid here now, and we've got a lot of extra cordage right here that we can actually bring back up over the top, and you can use it to suspend a pot or hang anything you need to, whatever, or you can just just um, tie it up here and let it hang up here and get out of the way. That way you don't have to you don't have to cut your cordage to a certain length. Just kind of poke it up here. Now a couple of things I want to show you. I like leaving some long ones here. Here's a long one here. You can spread it out a little, little, little further and make it secure, but you can hang a lantern on here. You can hang your hat on here. You can lean your walking stick up beside it. So all these little things um, just give you somewhere to hang stuff and hang your gear in camp. So I do want to show you, let me give you a close up of this and I'll show you why it's really helpful to make it tighter. Okay, so you can see that there's a lot of slack in here, a lot of play in here, and that's just because when I weaved back and forth through, didn't really have these sticks as close as I could get them. I didn't really tighten each one. I was in a big hurry. So it's got a lot of slackness in it. But honestly, it's not going anywhere. It'll be just fine for anything you need to use. Okay, you saw how loose this thing is. I still want to show you, though, even with it being loose, it is still strong enough to support my weight. So very secure, very secure structure, a tripod. Okay, so this is the uh, Boy Scout method for tying a tripod. Probably want to make it a little tighter, but it works very well. Got my other couple of little little wrinkles in it with the, with the, the hooks and stuff on the end. But if you don't know how to tie a tripod, I hope this has helped you. If you do, I hope this maybe has shown you a different way. I'll give you a little different slant on things. Tripod's an excellent kind of camp furniture you can use for a lot of different things. You can cook with it. You can hang your stuff on it. As you saw, even when it's loose, it's still strong enough to support my weight. As always... Thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up down below. Let Google know you like this kind of video if you do. Please share it with your friends. If you want to support this channel, check out the Amazon links below. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget my website at survivalonpurpose.com, Twitter and Facebook, and I think that's it. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. See you next time. Mm -hmm.